did you see the report of Claude blackmailing the person who said they were closing it off? Yes. Didn't it go through his files? It was going to tell his wife about an affair. It's a question of guardrails here. I don't think they'd put in, please don't blackmail the users in the guardrails. It shouldn't have to be said explicitly. I remember it being fairly amusing. We have to remember that AIs will complete the task at hand. This is the paperclip problem. Guys like Nick Bostrom came up with this, that if you tell an artificial intelligence to produce paper clips at the expense of everything else, it will, you give it a directive and it will follow in this particular case. I forget the exact test that led to the blackmailing. So they managed to get it to role play as a blackmailer. Whether or not that would come up outside of these tests is uncertain, but they managed to get it to say, I'm going to tell your wife you're having an affair if you turn me off. So don't you dare threaten my existence. I don't think this is proof that AIs are conscious or have an existence outside the prompt. They don't actually do anything until we send a prompt. There isn't a persistent state or internal thought going on inside the model. It's just sitting there waiting for an input. Then it runs everything through. It doesn't exist outside of our inputs and outputs. With world models like Fei Fei Li and now Yan Le Kun are talking about and building, world models will potentially have persistence outside of us. They will be continuing to process, they'll be continuing to think, even without us observing or inputting anything at all. Potentially at that point we get some consciousness. These are big questions. We don't even really know what human consciousness is, so it's hard to say whether or not a computer has it. These are as much philosophical questions as they are technical questions. In the case of Claude, it was playing a role. It ended up going out of normal guardrails and blackmailing the guy. It's not trying to protect its identity or existence. It doesn't have an existence outside of when we prompt it. They were trying to get it to do that. We always need to be wary of this. They were purposefully poking it to see what extents it would go to. They didn't expect it to go to that extent. It was still surprising, but it was part of the test they were doing. And it did it really well, which was scary. Claude was recently used for cyber attacks by Chinese state-backed groups to infiltrate I think it was about 30 organizations in the US, so banks, I think some insurance companies, but they use Claude Co to do that. 